Hey everyone, it's Mike with It's Pittsfield Tonight. I'm going to jump right into it and I'm going to pick up right where we've been leaving off. And that is with our September 6 elections coming up. So uh, for Berkshire County, two of the big races on the ballot this year are Berkshire County Sheriff, which our incumbent sheriff, Tom Bowler, is running for re-election. And he has a challenger this year, Alf Barbalunga, and Berkshire County District Attorney. So our incumbent DA, Andrea Harrington, is running for her second term, and she has a challenger, Tim Chagru. So let's start with the sheriff again. Uh, and many of you know, I endorsed, uh, I officially came out and endorsed Sheriff Bowler and Tim Chagru yesterday. And I, someone last yesterday sent me a screenshot from a post that Sheriff Bowler's challenger put on his uh, page. Basically, the, uh, the post was insinuating election fraud, saying that the state of Massachusetts was keeping an eye on us, on our local elections here, because they were concerned about voter fraud or something. Uh, and then it disappeared. I went to go tr check it out and I couldn't find it. And I didn't know if it was because I don't follow that page, but it disappeared. Um, and then someone sent me a link that the Berkshire Eagle did an article on it, but I can't open it and read it. I don't subscribe to the Berkshire Eagle. So I wasn't able to read it. There's a paywall on there. I'll probably pay the 99 cents this morning <laughs> and read it. But uh, I just couldn't believe I was reading that. Like, you can't, you know, you can't just say that stuff. That is so serious. Look, this sheriff's race, it's like we're seeing from Sheriff Bowler's challenger, and I hate to say this, but I'm, I'm gonna, I can't not be honest with this, okay? I, I tried to stay neutral, but this race has been driving me crazy because it reminds me of a national race we saw not that long ago. Uh, I mean, we're calling, Alf Barbalonga's campaign has basically called Sheriff Bowler misogynist, saying that he overlooks looks women for promotions, uh, called him a racist by saying that he overlooks people of color for promotion and that they're underpaid within his staff. Uh, <laughs> All sorts of stuff. And now we're saying that the state is watching us for election fraud. I mean, I'm waiting for that camp to come out and start chanting, lock him up, lock him up. I mean, I feel like we're one step away from that. This is not okay. This is getting a little ridiculous. And where that infuriates me is that kind of stuff is heavily damaging to the community. There should be no place for that. We, look, we're better than that here. You can't be dividing the community to try to win a seat. It's a job, a very important one. But, you know, talk about taking character assassination a step further. Now we're gonna insinuate that the state's watching us for fraud. So I'm just, it's, it's like, what's gonna happen? It, it, when, when Alf Barbalunga loses the race, is he gonna say that it, he was cheated out of it? and we're just gonna drag this out? Ugh, I hope that's not where this is going. I really do. I hope that's not where this is going. So I'm gonna pay for that article and I will read it this morning and see what's up with that. But God, I, I, you know, I'm sure everyone is anxious to have this over. Uh, so on to the DA's race, which has been nowhere near the drama that we're seeing in the sheriff's race. But another thing that caught my attention and that somebody sent me, and I guess that's also in today's Eagle, I'm just gonna have to pay for the whole paper today, <laughs> is uh, another shooting incident. And this one was a road rage incident where I guess somebody shot, one, uh, somebody in one vehicle shot at another vehicle. Uh, it's from what I could see, nobody was shot. I don't even think the vehicle was shot, but they did shoot at him. And that's got to, we've got to be getting very close, if not already, at 20 shootings this year. It is like getting like the Wild West in Pittsfield. Uh, there's 
gunslinging going on everywhere. And it is scary. It is incredibly scary. We're very, very fortunate that some innocent bystander hasn't been shot. That's, you know, that, that's scary. But it's, it's bad enough what we're seeing. A lot of these shootings are very young people. And that's horrifying to think what is happening that these young people don't value life enough at all to, I mean, they're, where they're trying to kill each other. Very scary what's happening. And, you know, that's why another reason, when you look at the DA's race, and I, again, I support and I am endorsing uh, Tim Shagru. I think, in my opinion, I think Tim Shagru is the best choice for district attorney. And I'm basing that off his resume, his qualifications, his experience in the courtroom, uh, his 36 plus years doing what he's doing. He's been a prosecutor. He's prosecuted very serious crimes, uh, protecting children and victims of sex crimes. Uh, then he spent decades as a defense attorney, which I think is crucial to understanding both sides of that coin. He, nobody's going to know better what he's going up against as a prosecutor in that courtroom than Tim. He's been there. He knows. And I personally believe that a position like district attorney is one of those positions that should be based off of qualifications, knowledge of the law, studying the law. That's crucial. And Tim Shagru is one of those candidates who the law is a passion for him. It's been a lifelong career and a lifelong passion for that guy. He can recite legal codes and things to you by memory. He lives it. And that is what I want to see in anybody in the, their profession. And especially a position as crucial as chief law enforcement officer of the county. And that is why I'm supporting Tim Shagru. Uh, his values, his, and a lot of his progressive values. There's, Tim, there's no candidate in here that was going to take us back to the dark ages. Uh, Tim doesn't operate that way. And all you got to do is talk to him. He's very accessible. Message his Facebook page. They'll get back to you. Uh, you know, any questions you have. Uh, I, had, I did not know Tim Shagru at all before this campaign, and he was, he's been very accessible. Uh, every time I've seen him, including last night at the standout, uh, which was tremendous, uh, he's, uh, both Sheriff Bowler and Tim Shagru had massive standouts last night at Park Square, and the sheriff had two. He had one at Park Square and one at St. Luke Square. Both of them huge. I really needed to bring a macro wider lens because it was tough to get everybody in one picture. Um, and I do have some other great pictures from that that I'll post later. But um, with Tim, he's very, very accessible. Very accessible. And one of the things he said to me, you want an interview? You have a question? You call and ask me. And he's been accessible every time. I like that. I just like that. So those are my picks. One thing I'm going to mention before I wrap this up that I think is very important is September 6th primary is a deciding voting day for both of these elections because every candidate running is a Democrat. We have no Republicans on the ballot for either one of those offices. So that means the September 6th primary decides that. If you are a registered unaffiliated independent you can vote in that primary. If you are a registered Democrat, obviously you can vote in that primary. Uh, but if you are a registered Republican, you can't vote in this primary. This is for registered Democrats and registered uh, unaffiliated independents. Uh, so that's crucial. I, and I, I'm sorry to say I have a couple friends that didn't know that till I mentioned it yesterday, and they asked me, to mention this, and that's why I'm bringing that up. So that's that on that. Uh, but make sure you participate. Make sure it's the day after Labor Day weekend. Every vote matters more than you realize. Every single one of you has to vote. 
If you are a registered eligible voter, you get out there on Tuesday, September 6th, and you vote. Make sure you vote. Your vote matters, and I mean every vote matters. These elections, these primaries generally have a low turnout because they're a primary, and both of these races are crucial to our county, crucial to the, our quality of life. So you have to participate. Please, this is not one to pass on. Um, so that's it for now. The situation with the geese at Richmond Pond, I've made a lot of headway. I spent a lot of time on the phone with the Division of Fisheries and Wildlife. I've also been in touch with the environmental police uh, and I've made a lot of headway. So there's a lot of information coming up on that. Um, a lot. So uh, I just didn't want to, I'm trying to separate the two from the elections. So again, that is it for now. Everyone, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other, really. Let's get back to some civility. And there should never be any room for dirty, nasty, divisive politics. Don't support that. Please don't support that. We're better than that. We could be an example for the country. And in the words of Tip O'Neill, all politics are local. The most important politics are what you do in your own backyard. That can change the world, and it really can. So be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and I'll catch you all in the next day or two.